Hi there, my name's Chris Kilby. I'm a pastor in a pergola, and here is today's bite-sized Bible from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. And today I want to talk to you about a window of opportunity, a window of opportunity. Let's see what the Apostle Paul says. He says this to Timothy, I charge you to keep this command without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which, he will, which God will bring about in his own time. So Paul is drawing here towards the end of his letter to Timothy, and he's now charging him to put into practice everything that he's exhorted him to do. But he makes it clear that he says, Timothy, this isn't going to be forever. Because he points to a future event that is going to end the earthly mission of the church and end Timothy's work in that sense. And that event is, of course, the return of Jesus. Now, we don't know when that will be. Jesus made it clear to his disciples that we don't know when that will be. And Paul reiterates that we don't know when that will be here to Timothy. But at that point, all talk of teaching and ministering to one another and efforts to tell others about Jesus and his kingdom, all of that will be over and we'll be busily caught up as worshippers in a, a new Eden, in a, a new Jerusalem, in a beautiful, perfect new heavens and new earth. Uh, and that knowledge does something to me, you know, knowing that one day this window of opportunity for ministry and mission will be over. What it does to me is it makes me focus on the opportunities that we do have today, in our day, in our context. And I want you to think of your life as this short parenthesis before your birth and the eternity that we're going to have as worshippers. How long do we have? Don't know. Jesus said we don't know. Paul says we don't know. I'm telling you, you don't know how much you've got. So what can we do with that? We can say, well, I've certainly got yes than I had yesterday, so I'm going to crack on. So I want to encourage you today. We have a window of opportunity between the incarnation and the second coming, the church age. We have this moment, this window of opportunity. And as Paul said elsewhere, make the most of every opportunity. Yes, we have worship to look forward to in eternity, but let's not miss this window. Let's do all we can to love one another, serve one another and advance the kingdom of Jesus in our day, in our place. Because one day he's coming back, he's going to wrap all of this up. That was today's Bite Size Bible from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 14 and 15. My name's Chris Kilby, a pastor in a pergola, and I look forward to seeing you next time.